1033, which is a firearm. And I'll reach in and grab him. He's sleeping. Here's a gun. Here's a gun. Do not move! He's one more. One more. One more. Okay, look. It's already gone south. Hey, Alex Stone here. Body cam by Ride Along. Damien Bunting. Let's do it. Bam. It's uh, in the alley uh, north of 25th, just south of Bancroft. Okay, we're cruising. He has a Henry. skater hat. Nora Akron, Love that. 7223. We're in Ohio. Try to turn around and head down the uh, alley again. They're, they're looking for a vehicle. Okay. And it looks like they're finding their vehicle. Located in an alleyway. Nope. So it's a felony stop. See anybody in there? Yes, sleeping. Oh, there's someone sleeping. There. Watch okay. out, watch your backside. Watch your backside. Good communication. It's locked. Someone's sleeping in there. It's locked. Somebody's Bring your cruiser back around here. On the other side. Think so why is he having him move his vehicle? Probably for cover reasons. I would imagine they want cover. Number one. Number two. The vehicle is running. He's asleep. I would be more concerned about cover at this point. Okay. Th this is a precarious situation. Do you pull back, blow your horn, do a felony stop, talk him out of the vehicle slowly? Hands. Let me see your hands. Okay. With your left arm, reach out the window. Pull the, you know, the whole thing, or do you try to catch them while they're sleeping real quick? And the car is running, so this is basically a, a huge weapon if he yeah. chooses to go forward and backward. We got room to pull around here in the front too. No you know what I'm saying? So if he, if he wakes up, he can, he can drive out this way, but we got a cruiser in the front and back. So that's not bad. They want to limit his mobility. Go ahead and box him in. Right, so that the vehicle's not a weapon. Okay. Like you described. I don't know if he's in the back seat or front seat at the at the moment, but wherever he is, there should be one officer taking cover behind the engine, keeping an eye on this individual and not moving. Okay. There's a lot of eyes and people moving, and there it doesn't appear to be anyone that's just watching the suspect. Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, Bauer. Yeah. Grab your cruiser, bring it around the front. Turn the lights off before you come around the front. Thirty-three. And Thirty-three. Okay. okay. So the producer just told us 10:33, which is a firearm. So the suspect is armed, but apparently he is asleep. Okay. Is, it on the, is it away from him? Okay, I think I think we break this window. Go for the fire. And I'll reach in and grab him. He's sleeping. There's a gun. There's a gun. I see that, but I'll, I'll reach in and grab him, and then somebody else unlock the door. Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Please, 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 please. Do not move! Do not move! Do not move! He's pulling away. He's pulling away. He's pulling away. Okay, look, it's already gone south. Okay, why don't you have a Slim Jim? Why don't you have a wedge with a tool where you can do things quietly? Quietly. I mean, breaking the window is great, but the guy's gonna wake up. If he's holding him through a window and now you need to unlock the door, I'm gonna stop the door from opening because yeah. I'm holding him through. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Wedge. Slim Jim or Hook. Open the door quietly while one person is focused on that field of fire, that suspect. Police! Come over the guy. He's reaching. He fought, he fought, he shot. You got him, we got him, we got him. He definitely reached. Yeah. Clear the vehicle. Good job. They did get him out. It's your head! Shit, second person. Head! There you go. Do not move! Oh, he's got a gun! So most joy rides, usually when people steal cars, they're doing it with another person, okay. right? They should have seen that suspect. Yeah. They did not clear that vehicle. They assumed it was clear. Easy, easy, you're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Not the other door. Anybody else in the back? Nope. All right. Multiple firearms in the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. I never saw that person. Well, I want the fucking clear, and he's just sitting back yeah. there. Recover 233. So two two handguns. All right, we got one chamber here. Looks like a full mag. Wow, wow. So hey, why don't you actually make sure cars are clear, and then why don't you open vehicles in a way that are as stealthy? 
and quiet, right? There's nothing wrong with dynamic entries. Sometimes you have to make a dynamic entry, but in law enforcement, it's very, unless you're servicing a warrant, the likelihood that you're gonna do a dynamic entry is very low. You're gonna go in slow. You're gonna take your time. Time is on our side. You're gonna clear each room. You're gonna cut the pie, right? And I think that this could have been handled a little bit better. Yeah. What yeah. are you thinking? I think the thought process of, of taking a little bit more time thinking things through in a more tactical um, approach. Yeah. That's easy for us to do after the fact in the moment when they're they're trying to initiate the stop and, and get this guy out. Maybe that goes by the wayside, but definitely a little bit more forethought would have been a little bit easier and a lot safer for everybody. Yeah, uh, I will say this. If they're running training scenarios at this PD, that needs to be a training. That is scenario. a great video to use for training. Yeah. So, hey, this is the ride along. Hey, I messed up. <laughs> this is Body Camp by Ride Along with Damian Bunting. We appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, Damian. Absolutely amazing opportunity to break down a great video. This is why we're here.